My name is Sarah Hope and I have been the project officer for the Yirukala Dawu project. This project that runs over two years is a partnership between Yirukala School, Bukwa Larangay Art Centre and the Mulka project. So Corrugated Iron are the producers. The name of the project is Yirukala Dawu and the name of the story the community chose to use for the project is Yalumora. You are now Miru Bookmark. I'm going to go to number of stabs. I have been involved in the process as a director to make sure that the most important things are told in the play. It's just a wonderful story a story about a man called Yolungura who is of the Galpo clan who went on an adventure to find this leaf that he had found drifting on the waves while he went fishing. It's been now 20 years that this old lady sat down and told me the whole story of Yolngura. And I wrote it in a book as a text for the school so that the school can, you know, classes in the higher grade, the senior secondary grade would use it as a text to, to know about time and travel and space and to know about a different dimension because different dimensions is all interwoven into the, our song lines. This project came about because we'd been working on performance projects over a few years with Yudakala School and it was identified that um, when we do these projects, uh, it's actually a really good opportunity to also create bilingual texts based on the stories that we're using for the performances. And the other sort of genesis was people coming and saying, we'd like to do more, more plays, more productions. We want to do this kind of theatre work, you know, more and really extend to the young people uh, when it comes to performance arts. It's really unique and great to be part of a process, a rehearsal process and workshops with students and staff when there's two languages happening and two sets of maybe worldviews about something and a shared idea of telling an old story. Um, I guess it's a coming together so that's been really actively happening in workshops. Part of the process has been to create some of the movement and part of it is I've come in with an idea and a set little choreographic sequence and taught the students that, but with their own movement as well or with some traditional movement that's already, that was brought in by somebody else. Um, I, these kinds of projects that use a whole range of different arts, performance arts, are really important because I think this is much richer and more engaging, like really engaging. Every single day we've seen these kids come in and be engaged with this story. When the school put on a show, we invite the community, we invite appropriate people in that clan to come to help, whether it be singing or whether it be painting or just to be involved. And I'm very happy that, that a, lot, a lot of mothers and a lot of fathers have come to join us to be part of the play, to help the children in this production. It's, very, it's a happy feeling. So last year we worked together to develop a bilingual book based on a traditional story that the community and staff at the school, such as Midiki Awoi, chose to focus on. And that was a really lovely project of working with the bridging class uh, and going over the story in multiple ways. People like, great artists like Nami White came in and painted the Milky Way, which is a significant part of the story and talked about that with the young people. And Bumpapoi, who's the other project officer also did a lot of work with the students, taking them down to the art centre, trying to kind of enrich their understanding of the story. We took photos of the young people and then worked with the very beautiful animator, Honey Bolliger, 
who works with the photos we took of the young people essentially sings and turn them into animations so that the bilingual story could become an e-book. And the outcome of that will be that people can go online and view this book and the beautiful animations and read and hear both Gumach and English versions of the story, which is really exciting. Creative projects within a bilingual school can really enrich a young person's experience of schooling and of life in general and also gives the whole community something to celebrate when those children who are really good at this kind of work you know really achieve and can show a great outcome or are just really enjoying coming to school and being part of that process. Doing this work and using traditional stories in the realms of theatre and literature and trying to find really creative and engaging ways to draw audiences into those stories is one of the most powerful ways you can advocate for an increase in the appreciation of Indigenous stories in our wider cultural context in Australia. I think Yirrkala School should do a lot of things like this, you know, because we have vast number of numbers of ch um, stories still, you know, still here, and and there are new stories, and there are very very old stories like this one, but there are other stories that can be not only, you know, in production in play and drama, but in in movies and films and things like that. Mm -hmm.